your big edition of Headbanging Zulu UK's Big Weather Report action. Well, sunny and 50 Fahrenheit, about 10 Celsius here in Vancouver. And there's the home of the British Columbia Alliance of the Canadian Football League, that thing with all the bars on it on the right hand side. Sunny and clear. Resident Canadian VC superstar Dan Powers. Makes a guest appearance on Headbanging Zulu UK's Big Weather Report action. Take it away, Dan. There were tens of thousands without power in Nova Scotia. They did open their emergency operations center ahead of the storm because they anticipated, whoa. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I gotta jump in the car. Oh God. Thank you, Dan. Headbanging Zulu goes to great lengths to get legendary Scott Waters' autograph at his new office where he's working with No Life Till Metal Records. And the authorities let Zula back down to the ground safely. Resident Canadian BC superstar Dan Powers attempts to make a great catch at a baseball game. What? This is it. No, didn't quite get it. Darcy's six strings, nine lives. Attempts to make a catch at the baseball game. Whoop, I hope he likes ketchup and mustard. Off their best album, or my favorite album by them of all time, ABC 1974. Live album, radio deal they did just when F. Neil Peart joined the band. But anyway, let's get to the another big edition of Rock Rick Vig here, Blackmore Rules. Hello, legendary Scott Waters fan club. Well, let's start with CD action. That's a really odd. The Electric Eels. Just found out about them, but if I'm not mistaken, they're Japanese, but they're good hard rock, heavy metal type thing. Uh, actually, I can't hardly remember. Um, yeah, I guess you have to look them up the same as me. I don't know. I just sampled them and liked them and found them real cheap. So, this album's called Beat Me. I'll just go with that. I don't know. I can't talk about it much because I don't know the album. Here's another one I found for cheap. Bands called Silver Mountain. Break and Change. So I thought, oh, I wonder if they sound like Rainbow. And they do. Well, let's open up. Seal the Reveal. I don't know. Uh, the, they sounded like Rainbow type thing, so... Pretty glossy uh, booklet, but I'm sure they're rainbow inspired. <clears throat> so I'll give that a shot. Don't know anything about them. 
these guys I saw live. They do a Pat Travers guested on this album and helped re record uh, Boom Boom Moko of the Lights. But these guys are just good hard rock, more in the southern rock vein, but still rocking and heavy. Really like them live, they were great. This was a cheap budget deal, Rock and Roll Soldiers, the twin EPs, so only blind by the name like that. They better be good. So, just a guess, but huh. if anyone out there knows about them, this one as a trader, but it was kind of a neat album. I don't know, it's just tribute to Sergeant Peppers, I guess, but. I'm an early Beatles guy, so. Finally got this for the first time in my life. And I love the early Striper, but this is where they kind of switched gears a little bit. But now that I've listened to it again, after hearing the legendary King Scott Waters talk about it, spoke of it highly, I thought, well, maybe I'll give it another try. And it's actually not as off the wall as I thought. They're not in their yellow and black bumblebee outfits anymore, which I always liked, but. Uh, there's some good tracks on there, and I'm looking forward to getting more into that. There's only a few songs on this I like, but huh, you know, how do you like that album cover? Remind you of Sabbath Sabotage, maybe? <laughs> That's Kim Mitchell there in the uh, track outfit, if you want to call it that. I don't know. But yeah, the track High Class and Borrowed Shoes is really good. Saw them backing up Rush in Vancouver back probably when this album came out 77 yeah probably would have saw them on this tour uh, book action definitely not a Guns N' Roses fan but I'm sure there's some good stories in this book <laughs> and another and I'm not really I've loved some couple of Foo Fighters songs but other than that like I don't like them enough to ever buy an album but I've never given them the chance but Sure, he has some good stories too. I love how he gives a lot of respect to guys like Lemmy and that type of deal. Like he really does respect the, the true hard rock. Here's a book I'm really looking forward to. UFO, Letting Go, UFO in the 80s and 90s. So it does cover Shanker's return in the 90s. It's an era I definitely don't know as well as I know the era on Shaker's first go round. This is just a little goofy thing. I forgot I even had it, but it's a Scorpions tribute band's drumstick from the show. Notice the Scorpion type font, but they're called the, like if you take the letter S, then the word copy, then ons, the word on, so you've got Scorpions. <laughs> they were fantastic. Saw them at Edinburgh, home of Cloudy. I think that's right, but anyway, Big shirt action. Again, not a band I'm into, but it's a pretty darn cool shirt. Big shirt action. I wish their lyrics weren't as naughty as they are. Like they do a great version of uh, Highway Star. Bought a Buck Cherry Tour shirt, don't see many of them. Oh, here's your standard Cheap Trick shirt. When I was in the store, some guy commented and pointed to this shirt and said, wow, that's a nice shirt. I ended up buying it. <laughs> and that little band from Texas. Anything on the back? Yep. Tour shirt. Oh, it's like your standard ACDC back in black. I thought, uh, then I looked at the back and went, oh, oh, well, that's better. So I thought I'd grab that. I like some of these guys' songs. I think, I don't know if they're Southern California punk rock, but. Now oh, this one's more of a trader shirt, but Still kind of cool, Paul McCartney tour shirt. It's a darn nice shirt. <laughs> a 
Here's another one that's a trader because I don't care about his music, but it's a pretty darn nice shirt. Oh, you've got to buy stuff to trade stuff. Where's easy top action? And the poor man's Beatles. Ooh, I'm going to make some people mad by saying that. Canadian dates. Oh, this was cheap. Nothing on the back. This only one sided, but it was too cool to pass up. Thank you. I'd like to do one from the album yeah. right now. Live Johnny Winter is great. Oh, cool shirt. It's kind of odd I didn't make this the first rock shirt I ever bought. Why is this ten times louder than the Jeez. This should have been the first shirt I ever bought because this volume four and not fragile were the first three rock albums. I bought them on the same day, bought the eight tracks, but the first three rock albums I ever bought. There was a very cool find. It was on like half price. I've looked at shirts, this shirt for a long time, but it was always too expensive with shipping and can't believe I got a shirt for them. And this could have been Deep Purple Singer. That's who Richie Blackmore wanted to replace Ian Gillen. And you don't see many uh, tour shirts from him. And a band I just saw, but it's not a shirt from the show I saw. They were really good live. When you could play Gypsy and Stealing, look at yourself and easy living. <laughs> um, let's see. It's only one side to this, but one of my favorite album covers of all time. Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Um, this one's in a bag. Pretty hard to display it. <laughs> I've been the world kiss. Um, two more. This one was like nine bucks new. I couldn't believe it. Okay, well, I guess I'll buy this. Nothing on the other side, but. Big, thick hoodie. Another one, this was a $4.99 cheapie. I saw the front, and I thought, okay, I'm buying it. When I saw the back, I thought, I'm buying it for sure. At the Holy Diver album. Well, that does it for the big show. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget, solar traffic. <laughs> Keep up your right, Rick Cody. Oh yeah.